Hello everyone, it's Rad. Welcome to Rad Gutaro channel and uh, <clears throat> this video is going to contain a, a general tarot reading and for that reason, as general tarot reading, the reading itself is going to relate to different subjects and situations and is going to manifest itself in a different way with every single different person. Now, in case uh, you are interested to know about specifically about your personal situation, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed here in the display, or it is as well shown in the description of the video. And there you are going to find, visiting it, you are going to find on the very front page, full list of my services, as well as their pricing, starting from just as little as $12 for the recorded readings and uh, $15 for the private call readings. Apart from that, if you want to see me live or, you know, you want to contribute with an event on me, you can check out my Facebook page, which as well you can see here on the video or in the description down below and consider sharing and subscribing the video because this is a one-man operation and it, you, your, your support does uh, helps a lot. That being said, uh, I want you now to lay back comfortably and enjoy the show. All right, so this is going to be a uh, Gemini Sun, Gemini Moon, and uh, Gemini Rising weekly tarot reading for um, June 10th to June 16th, 2019. And uh, bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And we can jump, jump excuse me, straight away uh, into the spread. All right, so uh, the first card which represents the topic for Gemini's week, that will be uh, the Ten of Swords, followed by the second card which stands for the challenges for Gemini, that is to be the Four of Wands. Afterwards, what we have, it is the positive aspect for Gemini's week, that will be the Five of Wands. And the last one, which is the guidance that Tsaro is offering to you, Geminis, that is going to be the Five of Cups. So we do have Ten of Swords sitting as a um, topic. Afterwards, it is the Four of Wands, which is the challenge, followed by the Five of Wands, which is uh, the positive aspect. And the last one, that is to be the Five of Cups, which is the guidance. So because the five of wands sits into a positive position and we do have double fives into the spread, we're definitely talking about a, um, a forceful change over the circumstances that you are going to do. It is because simply you just cannot stand it anymore or for one or another reason, you know, you, you need to do something about it either about your marriage, either about your career, or about specific person, either way, you know, simply things cannot be as they are right now. Or you cannot stand being uh, the things to be like they are uh, right now. So uh, with that specific narrative, Gemini's, the first card, Ten of Swords, speaks for the lack of tolerance that you can have anymore, and who can blame you? Ten of Swords it is this uh, forceful ending of, uh, of one situation ending in a sense of ending in a certain phase of a situation. No different than, for example, you know, um, how can I place a, you do everything you can into your career, you know, into your job, and your boss or your supervisor continues continuously uh, kind of like mistreating you or they're not paying you appropriately and so on and so forth. And for that reason, these circumstances well, circumstances cannot be any longer so you determine yourself to do one of the following you know you confront them either your boss or a supervisor and you basically tell them what you think straight away right into the face okay and make demands or at least this is how i would have done and if they are not agreed to your demands and by the way you are going to be so fed up that negotiations are going to be out of the questions, you know. So you approach your boss and say, look, I, I work well, I know how much I'm worth, and I want, let's say, $2,000 a month. And he says, I can't pay you that, then you, and you counter straight away. This ain't a negotiation. My price is a price. If you are not 
paying money or if you're not spending money, you are costing me money, all right? And uh, if they are not agreed, obviously you're gonna take here the decision, you know, to just leave the situation um, a bit prematurely, to be honest, but necessary leave so you can provoke a new era into your life because the, ultimately the Ten of Swords is all about that, you know. Making those drastic actions into either your career or into either your uh, relationship so a new era can be uh, provoked into one's life that gives you more opportunity uh, and uh, in generally gives you the clamorous belief that uh, the best is yet to come. Uh, the accompanied card here that is to be the uh, the Eight of Pentacles formation. It is a uh, active enemies that we do have, and definitely there is no longer what can be done as a constructive action apart from uh, completely changing the circumstances of the situation or leaving the situation as the situation is right now. I mean, it's uh, it's highly advisable with these cards, uh, and by basically what they say is that you did everything you could, you know but it's the thing isn't bending i mean the thing is not it's not improving for you at least i mean your boss could be in a very good position paying you less and having you to work more that is awesome for your boss but how it is for you all right or for example your wife okay so you do all the responsibilities in your marriage and your wife is in a very good position. She does have time for her friends. She does have time to go and do her makeup. She does have time to scamper the most and so on and so forth. But where that leaves you, all right? Or it could be your husband as well. It doesn't matter. I don't uh, differentiate by gender here. So yeah, it seems that you Geminis finally are gonna, ha are gonna have enough. And uh, for some of you, that could be as exaggerated as a snapping out. It's just one day you just snap out and you put your head uh, throughout the window and you just start screaming, I just cannot take it anymore. And uh, that will be the, the break point that you need to uh, do what is necessary, like I said, to provoke this uh, era into one's life. By the way, when these um, emotions of turmoil and these urges of a turmoil appear, one should not fight them, but one should try to release them straight away. And in other words, uh, this problem that you are facing throughout this week or whatever that reading regards in your life as a problem, uh, you did everything you could to how can I place it to overcome it in a uh, gentle fashion or gently fashion, but it simply ain't working. And now you need to let the monster out to deal with the problem. That's simply what the cards point. So the challenge is here. That is to be the four of uh, wands and uh, four of wands points that is going to be very, very difficult to reach a common ground whomever this Ten of Swords regards to boss, supervisor, uh, boyfriend or a girlfriend, husband, and so on and so forth. It's just, it's going to be very, very difficult to establish this um, finalization of a cycle, if I may express it uh, that way. And uh, there, won't, there will be some things there, a very important, not circumstances, but details, which uh, are overlooked back in the days and now they need to be addressed but simply these people will not want to listen and as a challenging card it means that you have to make them listen if you want to save um, you know your relationship for example your marriage friendship um, I don't know your car your job and so on and so forth the accompanied card here that is to be the sun card <clears throat> And the formation it is in an active supporters and the card points to more warmongering. Uh, it points that it's, once again those people did not want to listen. Why? Well, it's simple. It is because that disrupts their comfort. I mean, this until this moment they had you in their pocket. They had they had you around for everything that they wanted to, and they knew that they whatever they do, it's they they simply can't get away with. But now things are changing and they are changing in your favor. So that plays them uh, into a standpoint where they start losing privileges, where they start, start losing benefits. And th this is why they will not want to listen, uh, listen excuse me, at least at its uh, initial state. It could be, for example, that you do have, let's say, a boyfriend, right? 
I'm just saying an example of how it could uh, improve. But your family, uh, how could manifest? But your family strongly disapprove that boyfriend you have, all right? And until this very moment, you have that secret relationship, but you just cannot have it anymore. It's, it's not working for you. So you confront your family and you place the question like this, either you accept us both or you lose a daughter. It's simple as that. So from, uh, with such kind of a magnitude, it is how the week is going to um, evolve for you. So the next card here, Gemini, is that is to be the five of wands and uh, as a, a positive aspect of the week, the week itself is going to be very dynamic and as well is going to give you the circumstances where you can traverse this seemingly or from a first glance a rather despondent situation into a very productive and um, triumphing situation as well because the Ten of Wands is, uh, is the only card pointing that one can traverse failure into success should one be ready to take on the dynamic that the week gives them so you can definitely you know uh, convince your boss to pay you more you can definitely for example um, submit uh, submit your family to accept you and your boyfriend just like i given an example it's just you should not give up you should not deviate from uh the decision conscious conscious decision back in the days uh that you have made it's just you have to become more extreme okay and even if being more extreme doesn't work you have to bring that extreme to a point where it's all or nothing uh the accompanied card here that is to be the ten of wands so the formation, it is in an active supporters that we do have once again. And ten of wands into this uh, ten of wands into this case is that you can obtain that power or authority. I don't know how to say it really. It's not power, it's not authority, it's something in between where people it's not exactly seeing your reasons, but be but as you do have the presence and as you do have as well the uh, the influence required you can make people succumbed by your idea and eventually be agreed to your new rules or to your new standpoints so they can be a part of the new era that you are to provoke with the change with the forceful change that you are to exert into uh into your life and the final card that we do have for you gemini's that is to be the five of cups and that is the guidance and here the five of cups tells you that you should not give up no matter what because the start of the week is going to be very overwhelming uh, with the ten of swords it's kind of like you will feel that everything falls apart ten of swords it's a uh, very unpleasant card i i will not say bad card or a negative card because tarot doesn't have bad or good cards it doesn't have positive or negative cards it has pleasant and unpleasant cards so it's going to be rather unpleasant you will feel, like I said, that everything falls apart. You will feel that you're pushed to your extreme as well. And you will feel that everything hangs on you. Everything depends on you. And it's a great responsibility to bear. But in the same time, whatever your agenda is, for example, to be with your boyfriend or to be better paid at your job, you know, or to have a happy family and so on and so forth, should be the pinnacle of, uh, of your goal, should be the crest of your aims, okay? And no matter what, you should not give up on it because whatever losses you are to experience, the Five of Cups here points that those losses are going to be just the temporary losses. For example, if your family says, okay, then I don't want to see you anymore. Get out of my sight. Fine, you do so. As the, as the Five of Cups says that it is a temporary loss, probably in a couple of months or maybe in a couple of years from now, they will, they will regret their decision and they will try to reconcile. It's just those sacrifices that you need to make in order to provoke the change, this forceful change that is to improve your circumstances are going to be, um, how do you say, regained uh, back again as you proceed further uh, in the future. The accompanied card here that is to be the um, Knight of Swords, uh, and uh, the formation, it is a, a passive neutrals that we have. And the Knight of Swords here plays a little bit of a, of a warning role to the um, Five of Cups, which kind of um, amplifies this statement that these losses are just temporary. So even if it seems as a loss, 
of a certain circumstances or of a certain people of certain job that is you should not burn all of the bridges but try to leave a, a little bit of a, a bleeding door open all right uh, a little bit of a blend there so uh, back uh, or so as you proceed forward into the future uh, you have an opportunity you know those people or those op or those options available that you sacrificed at that moment this week June June 10th to June 16th to manifest themselves uh, down the road so that being said Gemini's this was your weekly tarot reading uh, guys June 10th to June 16th it seems of a, a very very important week it does look like as a week of a, a tremendous pressure that is going to be put on you but once you let it all out you know once you um, allow like I said the monster within to deal with your problems you are also going to feel a huge relief afterwards and you need to know that the ten of swords is rather very rapidly uh, developing card meaning that you are going to experience it for a, a couple of days three days the week the most and afterwards it's just the new era comes around that dawn which is uh, displayed on the cards on the card and probably you will uh, not have the uh, the urgency or rather like the uh, the necessity to look back and to remember these stressful time or to evoke those stressful times once again so that being said Gemini's this was your uh, weekly tarot reading June 10th to June 16th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and uh, we're going to see each other around until then bye